now see <coughs> i'm going to show you that how you can use the word poison so word poison means how you can write a document by using the word poison software so i'll be showing that is microsoft word 2007 2016 Microsoft Word 2007 and 16 dependencies that are mainly graphical use. So first uh, what I will be doing over here that is I will be changing this thing that is the to make it more usable that those who are using the word few things you need to change that is the by default font will you will see calibri so better you change it to times new one because this is widely acceptable and uh, very common type of font then the size of the font that is the by default it is 11 and you have to change this to 12. Now you say next you better set the tab that is click the paragraph over there and tab then over here say default tab stops it is 1.27 so here I am going to change it that is I want to make it half six eight press okay now why it is this because the space it will move when on the word document when i press the tab button that is short not a longer one or a long one now what the nice feature of this 2016 what's word is that the tell me what you want to do so here if you write that is let's say suppose chart you will find that is add a chart this will you will get now why it is easy so it is easy to use means from the angle that sometimes you may not find the application on the word on the ribbon menu or as you were using 2016 it is more graphical so for that it is easy to search it easy way to search it by typing in this way next thing is that the i'll be showing a document how to generate a document automatically one beautiful function has been given over here that is called the rand function so i'll be writing over here equal to rand rand within bracket 5 comma 3 5 means this first 5 means that is the number of paragraphs and 3 means this is the number of lines of each paragraph so if i press enter you will see five paragraphs will come up in front of you with three lines now you see if i select it by pressing ctrl a other way you can select it you will see these lines are not aligned on the right hand side you see it is not aligned so what we have to make it make it that we have to justify it so you can press the ctrl j as it is given you can see on the screen or you can press this particular icon so you see this has been rightly aligned now i want to change that let's suppose i have changed this on to this that is the aerial blank now 
I want to change the first sentence of the third paragraph in the same format. So what you can do, we can change it as I have changed it. Another way, is that the nice thing is that, that you select it. Then you select the format printer. So you click on it. Then you just put it on the in this sentence. You will see it will automatically change. Next thing you can do over here that is if you want to insert a line, what you will do? Just you press hyphen three times then press enter if you want to insert two lines then press equal sign then enter right now if you select want to select this fourth paragraph just put cursor on the paragraph and Press three times that click on this three times one two three you see total paragraph will be selected this is the easiest way to select the paragraph now you want to insert serial number in the table let's suppose I have created a table which has three columns and six rows now i have written over here serial number now i want to insert it directly so i can insert it in this way i select that first column then go to home then go to numbering tab icon and i to select this number so automatically you see it will be inserted now see i want to replace this video with the capital one so one by one you can do and it will be changed over here another way is that the i can replace i can use this particular replace icon and I can replace it so we just write over here video the way it has been written and I have to change it with the capital one B I D E O replace all so there are four replacement okay so you see where the video was there this video has changed all are in capital so in this way you can use this particular button that is the fine and all and others now next thing i am showing you that you want to insert one equation that is the equation of doing uh, calculating standard deviation how you can insert so press insert now go to equation you will find then insert new equation so the formula is like this that is the sigma square so i have to find the sigma so from these symbols you can easily find the sigma then if we put in this way then you have to you cannot use the superscript so or other way you have to use it so better you just go over here and script and select it and here you can put that is the sigma then this is square which is equal to on numerator we have one function so numerator by denominator so for this you have to select the function then you see this will be actually you have to change you have to change it that is the superscript one because the whole square is there then 
we have to use the large operator that is the summation so this is the summation i'll be using so summation is it is i equal to 1 to n and here i'll be writing that is within first bracket x r suffix i so x this is the suffix again i have to select so x then suffix i then i have to use the minus sign then i have x bar so this is x bar so x bar then i have to close the bracket so here i am closing the bracket so it is whole square square then it is under it that is the capital n so see this is the simple calculation of the you see that is what you call standard deviation now you can save it easily with the help of this simple calculation this one so for saving actually what you can so i will save now some saving options i am showing that is this is the word powerpoint so i want to save it so you can save it as a pdf form on 97 2003 format and you can use the tools that is the general option to make it password protected so this is the way how you can create a document save and make it password protected thank you for seeing the presentation